In this video, we have been given a semicircle inside a right angle triangle and AC is 5, BD is 8. Then we have to find radius of semicircle. So the first method in any circle from any point P, if we make two tangent on the circle, suppose this point is A and this point is B, then PA it will be equal to PB. So here from point A, AD it will be equal to AC and AC is 5. So AD it will be 5 and now in triangle ABC it is A B C A B it will be 8 plus 5 that will be 13 AC is 5 and this angle is 90 degree. So AB square it will be equal to AC square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. And AB is 13 a square it is equal to AC is 5 a square plus BC a square and it is 169 is equal to 25 plus BC a square so BC a square it will be 169 minus 25 that will be 144 so BC it will be a square root of 144 that will be 12 so BC it is 12 and Now, suppose this point is E, then CE, it will be diameter of semicircle. So, CE, it will be two times radius. CE, it is 2R. So, BE, it will be 12 minus 2R and in any circle from any point P, if AB is any chord and PT is tangent, then PT square it will be equal to PA times PB so here from point B BD square it will be equal to BE times BC and BD is 8 a square it is equal to BE is 12 minus 2R times BC is 12 and it is 64 is equal to and here we can take two common 
and it is 6 minus r times 12 and 2 times 32 is 64 and 4 times 3 is 12 4 times 8 is 32 so 8 is equal to 6 minus r times 3 so 6 minus r it will be 8 by 3 so r it will be 6 minus 8 by 3 and it is 18 minus 8 by 3 that will be 10 by 3 and the second method here if we take a mirror image of this triangle this point is B this point is C and we know that AD it is equal to AC so it will be 5 AD will be 5 and suppose this point is E then AC it will be equal to EC by symmetry And also AB it will be equal to EB by symmetry. So EC it will be 5 and AB is 13. So EB it will be 13. And now In triangle ABE, we have AB is 13, BE is 13, and AC is 5 plus 5, that is 10. So, radius of in circle, in radius R, it will be equal to delta by S where delta it is area of triangle and s is semi perimeter of triangle so area of triangle it will be a square root of s times s minus a times s minus b times s minus c by s and it will be equal to a square root of s minus a times s minus b times s minus c by s and we have a is 13 b is 13 and c is 10 13 13 and 10 so s it will be 13 plus 13 plus 10 by 2 that will be 18 so in a radius r it is equal to a square root and s is 18 minus a is 13 times s is 18 minus b is 13 times s is 18 and c is 10 by s is 18 and r it is equal to a square root of 5 times 5 times 8 
by 18 and 2 times 4 is 8, 2 times 9 is 18. So R, it will be equal to a square root of 5 times 5 times 4 by 9 and a square root of 5 times 5 is 5 times a square root of 4 is 2 by a square root of 9 is 3 so it will be 10 by 3 and third method we know that ad it will be equal to ac that will be 5 and bc it will be 12 and now suppose the center of semicircle is o then oc it will be radius oc it will be radius suppose r and also OD, it will be radius, suppose R. And in any circle, radius and tangent, they are perpendicular to each other. So this angle, it will be 90 degree. And BO, it will be BC minus OC, that will be 12 minus R. BO it will be 12 minus R. So interangle BDO it is B D O B D is 8, D O is R and B O is 12 minus R and this angle is 90 degree. So B O square it will be equal to B D square plus D O square by Pythagoras theorem. And B O is 12 minus R a square it is equal to BD is 8 a square plus DO is R a square and it will be 144 plus R a square minus 2 times 12 times R will be 24 R it is equal to 64 plus R a square and R square will get cancelled. So 144 minus 24 R, it is 64. So 24 R, it will be 144 minus 64, that is 80. So R, it will be 80 by 24. And 8 times 10 is 80, 8 times 3 is 24, so it is 10 by 3. And the fourth method, we know that AD is 5 and BC is 12 and suppose the center of semicircle is O then OD it will be radius and OC it will be radius and BO it will be 12 minus R and now if this angle is theta then this angle is 90 degree so this angle 
it will be 90 degree minus theta and interangle BDO this angle is theta this angle is 90 degree so this angle it will be 90 degree minus theta so interangle BDO and triangle BCA we have angle BDO it is equal to angle BCA that is 90 degree and angle DBO it is equal to angle CBA that is theta so triangle BDO it will be similar to triangle BCA hence BD by DO it will be equal to BC by CA and BD is 8 by DO is R it is equal to BC is 12 by CA is 5 so R it will be 8 times 5 by 12 and 4 times 2 is 8 4 times 3 is 12 so it is 2 times 5 by 3 that will be 10 by 3 